Good day, good love, and good light, illuminators and way showers. Thanks for joining me. This is Wendy. I just wanted to take a moment. I haven't uh, been able to do a lot of videos. Wow, in the last I don't know, couple months, we've been working on so many projects around the house. So I just kind of wanted to say hi and um, kind of show you my big mess here. So um, one of the projects I've been really needing to work on is separating my plants. So I just thought I'd take a, a moment of inspiration for all of you to take a few minutes and spend some time, get a couple plants, herbs, something, you know, uh, buy a little herb to eat. I'm trying uh, the stevia plant for the first time. Um, I've never grown it, so I'm going to give that a try. And um, I'm repotting my little jade babies and my aloe. Um, and as you can see, this cactus has just gotten way out of control and it was really deep in the roots <laughs> We're really pot bound. So I wanted to uh, do that and I filled my fountain over there and I planted some basil over, Which I have over there on the porch um, And I'm growing some herbs out here as well. You can see uh, There's Eclipse my unicorn kind of um uh, blessing everything and if you didn't know that a group of unicorns is called a blessing so today's blessings are be in nature plant some plants buy something that you can um, maybe buy get a couple herbs and plant some herbs um i've got some dill growing and uh, i've got oregano and i want to get some more chives um i've got a couple i'm just thinking what else have i got in there oh and then i I repotted this little guy here so this was kind of kind of dried up and empty and um, so I just uh, repotted uh, this little plant that was in something else and I put a little moss here I actually dug up a little bit of moss and I put a little bit of real moss in there and these little fakey rocks were already in there they're kind of glued in so they're kind of kind of goofy but um, but we'll see how long, you know, how long they last. And uh, oh, and then I planted another little tiny baby jade. So I wanted to invite you guys all too that you know jade is a very, very sacred plant, um, and it has a lot of special qualities. And um, I would just invite all of you, as I, as if you watch my channel, you know, we've always invited you. I've always invited everybody. Do your own research. And so I guess I was just a really uh, inspired and in, in by the jade itself and wanted to mention to all of you to maybe take a look uh, look it up um, it has a very special message and to also remind all of us that we communicate with the essence of these plants and they are as much a part of all of source as we are and we interact and communicate with all plants and of course water and specifically to the essence and the energies of the plants oh and i've got mint growing a couple different kinds of mint and cat mint and i've got um i grow things also for the scent to keep the mosquitoes at bay and so there's um several different kinds of mint growing for that reason and a lot of the herbs um i have a lot of, oh thyme is different kinds of thyme i've got growing um, I'm trying to think of what else I've got in there. Uh, dill. I've got some dill. Cilantro. Um, you know, we actually, you know, are always communicating uh, with all these plants. And when we bring them into our meals, I'm always thanking them. I'll, I'll come out here on the porch and just, you know, chop off some basil for fresh, you know, for our dinner. Um, I was actually in the garden the other day collecting some... Uh, some oregano and some parsley. Oh, parsley. That was another thing. I got a couple different kinds of parsley. So I was um, gone and, you know, there's just something about going out and snipping off some really fresh herbs. And they're one of the least expensive and yet the most aromatic and, and literally I find them very spiritual um, things to add to our meal. And the, the, the gratification that I receive and the gratification that they receive from me is literally <laughs> palpable. And yes, pun intended. Um, so I, I guess I was just invited, you know, I was just invited to share my moment with all of you guys. And um, we've got so many, and lots of, um, for example, you know, you 
appliance repairs and things that show, uh, broke that we weren't expecting. And so it was just, you know, um, I thought, let me just take a moment to I uh, wish all of you a happy Friday, happy Goddess Friday to all of you. If you haven't caught up, <laughs> if you're new to my channel and haven't caught some of our Goddess Fridays, um, we had a lot of fun with those and may interact with those as well, uh, start up those again, we're not sure. Um, so here's, I just want to kind of show you guys my, my fountain. I absolutely love, love, love this fountain. I love having water features outside. Um, so you guys can see the whole thing. It's actually pretty tall. Um, it's our spring water. We go we go get spring water, so I got an empty spring water bottle there. So I kind of want, just wanted to show you. Uh, there's a little front porch there, and so there I've got some mint. Oh, and I've got chocolate mint. Um, a big pot of there's chocolate mint in there, and there's my there's my little basil I just repotted. Um, <clears throat> And I've got other containers of things. Uh, so there's all kinds of things that you can plant too for, um, you know, mosquito repellents and, and, and they're also edible. Um, the smell of geraniums is, a, is something else that's helpful. And what else I'm thinking? Lemongrass. Um, there's lots of different, and there's all kinds of information, um, you know, online about that as far as, you know, <laughs> repellents and things. And that's all I use is essential oils too for, Abby, our puppy, um, I use a very specific mixture of essential oils, and they, of course, are um, assisting in uh, the pet, the pest repellents for her, and that's all I use for her, for ticks and fleas and mosquitoes, um, as well as a little bit of garlic in her food as well. So, um, so that's one of my other highest joys and excitements is, you know, also as holistically as possible, feeding her and including. Um, herbs and spices and different things um, into her diet as well. Um, so yeah, I just uh, wanted to say hi. Oh, and we've got a couple birds nesting, so you might be able to hear her. Uh, um, so we've uh, they're actually over the wall over here on the other side where Dave's sitting, where we kind of hang out. And uh, so I've got my hummingbird feeder up here. The hummingbirds are here. Oh. Can you hear her? Yeah, she's she gets upset because she's got a nest over there. And actually, she's in my potting shed area. So she decided to build a nest in one of my little wooden, um, <laughs> my one of my little wooden containers. It's like the a little horsey thing, and you can put some plants in it. Anyway, it's made out of wood, and so she's decided to put her nest in there down there on my whole potting. All, all the shelves have all my flower pots. And um, I think you guys have seen them, in, <laughs> seen them in the background of some of my videos. So anyway, she's she's having a good time over there. So um, uh, she's actually she's she's nervous because we're all around. Um, so she's she's making a fuss. She wants me to just pay attention to what I'm doing. So anyway, I just wanted to share these moments with all of you and invite all of you to. Um, explore the essences of plants and oh sage uh, I'm just just thinking about sage um, and I want to of course I want to plant some rosemary as well so um, but when I say sage I think of wisdom and we think of burning the sage and I actually grow sage also so I can burn it um, to make sage wands for it um, and and but specifically when we um, explore and even look up different plants and what they what they mean what they represent um, we can literally begin to um, tap into their energy and we can bring in the essence of absolutely any plant and I've and I've explored this before in a lot of my videos um, and specifically the the sage plant had come to me literally and, and we communicate and I receive information from plants. We all do. Um, we all can. And maybe we're just not sure how to listen sometimes, but when we literally tap in and start exploring more about a plant, it becomes engaged with us and we can literally um, bring the essence of the plant in. So for example, if you wanted to clear the space in your room, your office, um, your moment, Literally close your eyes, ask, ask the plant, the sage plant, to come in, bring her, and I feel as that she's a her, a very, a very strong her, and bring her essence into the moment, into the room. 
and feel the clarification. Ask her to clarify the room for you. And you will immediately feel that essence, that clarification. Um, and this is actually pretty sweet. I took a little piece off and just kind of munched on it, the stevia plant. And uh, very sweet. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, let me give it a try. I'm going to um, harvest a little bit, um, you know, put it in my, my tea or my coffee. It's actually really delightful. And these I bought from the local, uh, the local nursery. So they were grown right here in Alabama. And uh, so, anyway, I just wanted to share this moment with all of you and inspire all of you to bring the essence of the plants, um, the healing, if we want to call it that, which is really just becoming in perfect harmony. Healing is just becoming in harmony with your core pure vibration. And all of these things, all of these plants help us do that. They come to our aid, literally, as we have designed um, this interaction and this co-creation with them. And we know how healing the aloe plant is and the properties. Um, and all of this is food, literally food and food for thought. So thank you for joining me in this moment of food for thought. And I love you so much. And thank you for your love, your comments, your private sessions. Don't forget to check out my website, languagesoflights.com. I always forget to mention it. We've got lots of uh, journals, um, sessions. Uh, Wednesday nights we do a uh, private um, uh, kind of light language and oracle night, oracle hour, where it's not recorded, it's not on YouTube, it's just uh, a private gathering. We kind of let our hair down and just kind of uh, bring in whatever guidance, channeling, light language messages, oracle readings. Uh, so if you're interested in that and more events, uh, we'll be putting more and more events uh, up. It's just been a super busy couple of months and a lot of unexpected stuff. And Dave's got a lot of projects going on too. So, and also to remind all of you, um, you know, if you're interested in light language, uh, looking for activations or, or maybe just want to talk about it. If you're looking for guidance on a particular um, area of your life, uh, if you'd like to explore your own spirituality, your own um, healing, uh, looking uh, just simply to, I don't know, help, help along the journey, I guess. It's really the simplest way to say it. Um, just get in contact with me and we'll be doing more and more events as we, as we are able. And we thank you for all of your love, your support, your sessions, your donations, your purchases. Um, it means a lot to us and it helps us in our journey and to continue to be able to, um, you know, keep the lights on and keep the internet going. And, uh, so we love you and we love you for that. So we do appreciate all that you send in every single way. So please, of course, always like, share, subscribe, and please do feel our love and our essence. And I'm always thinking about you guys. Mwah. So much love. Kono Maliava Munumiana Kitabe Puya Shasu Purikina Tatu to Kode Keshano Bosuche Kishum Mushe Alakina Miava Sopodubesa no Pea Sonate. And I wish you moments of clarity and peace and love and understanding in all your endeavors. That you can find love and joy. in and in spite of all the circumstances and remember that every now is new and by changing our perspective we can literally change our experience Mwah. i love you